We're here in Boston at the Brooks Hyperion House. Boston Marathon weekend, lots of excitement. This is our HQ for the time while we're here, but we just watched the 5K and now we actually need to go work out ourselves. Uh, what are you guys doing? What are we doing, Kyle? All right, so, <laughs> man, we, we, we got, we got a, a good one today. So we're gonna do four times 2K, 1K. The 2K being the hard, fast rep, and then 1K recovery, but at an honest pace. So it's gonna be seven and a half miles of work, hopefully averaging pretty quick. Uh, so we're looking at the overall average a little bit more than the individual 2Ks. Let's get it. People list, show you what could have been. But I think starting just a hair under 540 pace. How's that sound? Kyle, that was short. So, I think this is a really sensible progression from what you've been doing. For the last two months, I feel like you've gotten more and more accustomed to short rest, mm -hmm. really short rest. But it's always been static for the most part. And so, at some point there, you have to introduce the idea of being able to recover while also moving. Yep. And so, you're not gonna have quite as precipitous of a drop off in heart rate on this. It's gonna be a little bit steadier. And you're just having to learn to recover in that zone where maybe your heart rate's 160 rather than falling down to a 140 mm -hmm. when you're running 45, 60 seconds rest. I don't think, the last time I checked in the 5K, you don't get to stand around the whole no. time. I think the longest workout too we've done is like five and a half miles, five. Yeah. Well, all right, so this is the other thing that we've talked about before, where people often get really intimidated by the idea of the length of the workout. It's, I mean, you run, 12 miles all the time. Yeah. So, there's, the idea is you can still run long workouts, just back off the pace enough that the challenge of it is the distance, not necessarily the distance and the pace. Mm -hmm. And when you're running, you know, active recovery, you're actually protecting your body. You can't do as much damage muscularly because you're going to be limited aerobically mm -hmm. as well. And so I think when we talk about ways to keep you healthy, it's not letting yourself hurt yourself yeah. because you're recovered in yeah. the middle of a workout. Take 10 minutes rest and then do another rep. You're going to do damage, which sometimes for the track stuff, the passive stuff, you want to do. Mm -hmm. But when you're falling, you're yeah, and I've only really done like progression, long runs, nothing. I guess I've done two Ks with pretty static rest. So this yeah. will be my first continuous, that's not a fartlek per se. Yeah, Would you call this a fartlek? Not really. Yeah, yes? It is, it is, it's a longer fartlek. But I, I look at the whole thing collectively. Yeah. As what you average for seven and a half miles. Mm -hmm. Not. Oh, you did four by two K. Yeah. At five thirty-five pace or whatever we end up. It's a long, long workout. Embrace that marathon weekend. What happens when you're not running on the track and not yet a marathoner? Who are you? Washed up. I mean, Let's go right. Cars are coming. One mile, 534. As we approach 2K. Accept the fact that you have to keep running. Yeah. It's going to be quicker than you think. Jake. 
and keep going. 659. It's a little slower. Slow? No, that was perfect. Upper slower. Oh. So you can ease off. Oh. Ease off the gas. Oh, ease I'm off the gas. That was good. Now you're playing. Yeah, I think. Still playing. Still plenty of time. I have a hard time slowing down. Look at that. How is she talking so much? The whole time. I have my watch well set up. Skyline shot. What was the marathon trial standard? Well, I was asking for math. <laughs> is that this pace? I can do this pace. I think this is. I think it's a lot faster. 530. You gotta slow down. Keep it going. Oh. <laughs> Next bridge. To, not quite that far, but you'll see it. That one pinched a little more at the end. straight on this road to the right. It doesn't feel like that. The most fun recovery is the final one because you're actually just done. <laughs> you just do a bonus 1k at six minute base. Wait, what? Well, because the 12k is a 1k, <sighs> which is recovery. I kind of forgot about that one. You don't really think about it because you don't have to run into anything after. But it's a good way for you to make sure you're not sending it too hard on the left. Fucking windy 655. Yep. Is there any way to turn? I mean, we can flip it. Yeah, but then we won't make it. True. Well, we can do this little loop along the river. It's 
your watch today? <laughs> okay. I just saw mine, I was like, oh, it doesn't feel like that. I'm trying not to talk. No more talk. DJ course. <laughs> left. Yep. Left. I need cruise control. Left it. Oh man, I didn't feel it to like that last one, then I really felt it. You handled that extremely well. 546 pace for 12k. Woo. Yeah. I was like, if we, could, if we could average under six, I'd be really good. I'm a 1500 meter runner. <laughs> Definitely not. <sighs> you can still run a sub 430 mile. <laughs> it's but. like a weird thing because I did a time trial in 2020, it was 407. And I feel like I just get no credit. So I'll it's give an, you credit. It was just it's, off screen. It just, it's an ego. I'm kind of happy we stayed up in Boston instead of going to Cambridge, but it probably would have been chiller over in Cambridge. Yeah. <laughs> that was fun. I mean, it's very fun to yeah. yeah, no, it's going to be good. Yeah. And if we did it on the Harvard Temple, <laughs> if I just wouldn't have counted it, ah. I would have been like, yeah, I mean, it's impossible to know what sort of fitness game is in. We'll never know. Uh, no, keep going straight. We're going to Boylston. I mean, it's probably over, but we can pretend like we went. Ah! You know, everyone always talks about individualized training. Nah. Nobody's getting more individualized training than Dana. I'm absolutely spoiled right now. One more. You can't show up to a workout with 15 people, everyone doing the same workout, and then have the coach say it's individualized. I mean, we can pretend that's individualized. There's still a benefit. Dana I, does everything alone, so. I do. I like the reactions of when I tell people you're writing my training and coaching me. They're like, oh, oh. Right, right, right. Sorry. The driver on the left now? Ah! Thankfully, the street is closed. We are where the marathon finishes right now. Boylston looked very different on Monday. 